Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about the Internet and what a wonderful place it is and how it has provided us new tools and uh, new methods of reaching out to people. People who at times may just want to sit in their own little echo chamber. Because, you know, before this, you, you had to look for an opposing view. You couldn't just find one. You couldn't stumble upon one by accident. You had to seek one out. And now, yeah, people can still tailor their feeds to uh, just reinforce their own beliefs. And people do it all the time. But there's always a way to sneak in now. Like, hypothetically speaking, if the Biden campaign got the domain keepamericagreat.com, they did. And they created a website that highlighted everything that Trump said was going to happen versus what did happen during his administration. They did. Um, and just pointed out that he's not running for re-election. He's begging for a do-over. When you hear his campaign speeches, He's talking about all of the bad things that have happened in the last four years and blaming it on the Democrats because he can't accept responsibility for his own failures as president. He's not a leader. He never has been. That's what he wants. He wants people to forget the last four years, blame that on the radical left of Joe Biden, and, uh, and just let him do what has always occurred in his life him to be able to lie his way out, him to be able to get away without accountability. That's what he wants. Now, if people were to say, I don't know, start posting KeepAmericaGreat.com on Facebook or tweeting it out with a little message that makes it seem as though they support Trump. Trump supporters, they would probably click on that link and they would be confronted by that. It may not do any good as far as the policy goes, but a whole lot of Trump supporters don't care about policy. They don't know policy because he doesn't have any. He doesn't actually have policy to run on. He runs on belittling people, trolling them, owning the libs. It would uh, probably be pretty effective to show that he can't even do that right anymore. When Joe Biden, as technologically savvy as he is, was uh, able to take his campaign domain name. I think it's probably something that Trump voters should see if anybody was willing to tweet that out, perhaps under the hashtag Trump 2020 landslide or something along those lines. Um, you know, kind of insert it among a bunch of pro-Trump content. People would find it. They'd be confronted with it. They would have to accept not only is he a failure as a president, He's not even the cool internet troll they thought he was. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.